Let's look into using the F table to find areas and percentiles. Due to how these F tables are typically set up, it is usually a little easier to find values in the right tail of the distribution than values in the left tail. So first we're going to look at finding values in the right tail of the distribution, and then we're going to look at the left tail methods. Here is an F distribution with 3 degrees of freedom in the numerator and 14 degrees of freedom in the denominator. And suppose for the sake of argument that we are interested in finding out the probability that a random variable f that has this distribution takes on a value that is greater than 2.448. Suppose we want to find that in some problem. Well, that is simply going to be the area out here, out to the right of 2.448, under this f distribution with 3 and 14 degrees of freedom. We can find that value exactly using computer software, but if we had to use a table, this is how we'd go about it. Now here's my F table. Some F tables are set up a little bit differently than this, but in any event, we're going to need to find our appropriate degrees of freedom. And if you recall, the problem above had 3 degrees of freedom in the numerator and 14 degrees of freedom in the denominator. And so we're going to need to find our numerator degrees of freedom of 3, and over here our denominator degrees of freedom of 14. So now our little world revolves around these values. What are these values telling us? Well, in this column, it's giving the areas to the right of these values. So in other words, under an F distribution with 3 and 14 degrees of freedom, the area to the right of 2.52 is 0 0.10. So this is 0, 0.10. And the area to the right of 9.73, say, under an F distribution with 3 and 14 degrees of freedom, is 0 .001. 0 0.001. Now the value of interest to us, we were trying to find the probability of being greater than 2.448. That was the problem at hand. What is the area to the right of 2.448? Well this value is a little bit less than this. That's the smallest value for our appropriate degrees of freedom. And so we know then that this area here must be even greater than 0 0.10. So this area is greater than 0 0.10, and this corresponding probability is greater than 0 0.10. If we want to get a specific value, we can put it into a computer. Suppose we had a different type of problem here, where we want to find the f value with a given area to the right. So suppose we want to find the f value that yields an area to the right of 0 0.025. Let's say we wanted to find that value here. And we're going to call that value f.025, the f value with 0 0.025 to the right. And a little bit more formally, we could write it with the degrees of freedom in there as well as f314.025, because this value is going to depend on the degrees of freedom. When we go back to our F table, this one's going to be fairly easy because we just need to find our appropriate degrees of freedom, 3 and 14, down here, and the area to the right was 0 0.025. And so I simply walk along this until I get to my 3 and 14 and 0 0.025, and that is the appropriate value. And so the table just told me that this value, the value that we want, is 4.24 to two decimal places. Now you may have noticed that that table gives areas and f values only in the right tail of the distribution. But we can still use that table to find values in the left tail of the distribution because of a property of the f distribution. To find values in the left tail from the table, we're going to need to use this relationship that an f value with new 1 degrees of freedom in the numerator and new 2 degrees of freedom in the denominator and an area to the right of a is 1 over an f with the degrees of freedom flipped and 1 minus a. So in other words, let's say we wanted to find f, 4, 5, and 0 0.95, say. This is simply going to be 1 over f, 5, and 4, and 0.05. That's just how it works out mathematically. 
So let's do that one. Let's say under this distribution with four degrees of freedom in the numerator and five degrees of freedom in the denominator, we need to find this f value over here, yielding an area to the left of 0.05 and a corresponding area to the right of 0.95. And so I'm going to call this f value here f 0.95, because it's the f value with 0.95 to the right. And a little bit more formally, we'll include the degrees of freedom here. We need to find f, 4, 5, and 0.95. But I know from that property of the f distribution we just talked about, this is equal to 1 over f, 5, 4, and 0 0.05. And this value I can find from a table, because if I draw my f distribution, if this is an f distribution with five and four degrees of freedom, we're looking for this one out here, this value with 0.05 off to the right. And this is our f 0.05 under this distribution. We can find that from the table. So I go to my f table, I find five degrees of freedom in the numerator, I find four degrees of freedom in the denominator, and I want 0.05. And so if I walk along here, I get 6.26. And so my f table has told me that this value is 6.26. And so this value over here is 1 over 6.26. And that's how we'd find these percentiles in the left tail of the distribution. We can also use this property to find areas in the left tail of the distribution. So suppose for the sake of argument here that I want to find the probability that a random variable f with 4 and 5 degrees of freedom takes on a value that is less than 0 0.10. So that's some value here, 0 0.10 approximately there, let's say, and that is simply going to be the area out to the left. That's what we're looking for. That probability is that area to the left. But I don't have this value in the table, but I am going to use that property again discussed above. An implication of that property is that this is going to be equal to the probability that a random variable f with five degrees of freedom in the numerator and four in the denominator, the degrees of freedom flipped, is greater than one over 0 0.10. So this area we require here to the left under an F distribution with four and five degrees of freedom is going to be equal to the area out to the right of 10 under an F distribution with the degrees of freedom flipped. F distribution with five and four degrees of freedom. That's going to be the same area. And when I go to my table here and I'm looking for the area to the right of 10, that's my point of interest, under an F distribution with five and four degrees of freedom, I'm gonna see that 10 lies in between these two values. Now that's important to me because this table's telling me the area to the right of 9.36 is 0 0.025. And the table's also telling me that the area to the right of 15.52 is 0 0.010. And since 10, lies in between these two values, the area to the right must lie between these two values. Now that F table has told me that this area must be less than 0 0.025, but greater than 0 0.010. And I know from that property of the F distribution that this area is the same as this area. So this area here must be less than 0 0.025 and greater than 0 0.010. And that means that this probability that we are looking for must lie between these two values. And if you need more precision than that, you really should just throw it into a computer.